Hey, guess what? It's the first birthday of the season. It's vlogging at 802. Happy birthday, Kevin. Good morning. It's Wednesday, and I'm way behind on my revision schedule. I was gonna start on Monday, but as you know, you know, I got a little bit sick and then had a lot of other stuff to catch up on. Still have a lot of stuff to catch up on, but if I'm ever gonna get Agnes box revised, I need to be making it a priority. I need to be sitting down and writing. So I went to bed early last night, set my alarm for like eight o'clock this morning, which doesn't sound early to some of you, but for me is pushing it and I'm gonna go write for a while. So my plan is to write for at least three or four hours and then I gotta come back and actually, there's like tax stuff I have to do and like, oh, blur, it's not gonna be good. But no more talk, time to move. Filter, just have a flat white and uh, the writing is started. All right, I got like close to a third of the way in. It's the, about as far as I revised before. I'll do more, well, we'll see if I do more this afternoon or not. This is the part that's easy, like getting caught up to where I've been working, getting back into the flow of things, but there'll be some chunky parts that take me a week or two to get through, at least. I'm hoping that I can push through this. I'm really excited to get Agnar's box out, out and into the world. That's the goal. And we'll talk more about that, like the release of it and how I think we'll go about it as the time draws near. But I think we're gonna go, we're gonna try to go straight to Amazon, just see if we can't get a nice boost in like upfront sales and reviews right off the bat. Just play around with it, try some different strategies. Anywho, I'm gonna hop back on the Metro here, and then I think I'll talk a little bit about Room de Chateau situation because there's movement on that front, obviously with the couch, and I think in the next month or so, we might be able to complete the whole thing. that I want to talk about. There are a couple things I'm going to talk about. Room to Chateau here in a second, but one of them is that I want to go back to school soon. And by go back to school, I mean like define my own curriculum. One of the ways that I've started is I've gotten back into learning my Norwegian. I was doing Duolingo on that. I'm going to see if I can find a couple of other resources to advance on that. There are a couple of other languages I would like to work on. Obviously, I need to continue to improve my French. I should probably get my German back. Uh, but Norwegian, I promised some Norwegian friends a few years ago that I would learn the language started, kind of dropped it, and I've been working on it actually for the last almost two weeks, nonstop. I've got a good streak going on Duolingo. So that's going on right now. Planning on spending some more time reading history, uh, maybe some business books as well. I'll let you know as I develop the curriculum, but I am gonna officially start that probably in the winter. Still have a lot on my plate, a little bit too much to do right now to get sorted. Like figure out my tax status here in France. You do that soon too, and then we'll figure that out. Okay, let's talk about Room de Chateau. For those of you who are interested, if you're not interested at all in the Room de Chateau situation, feel free to tune out now, because this is literally gonna be just about that from, from this point on. You seem really excited about the whole couch situation, and that, that has encouraged me to come back to this whole how can you help situation. It's chilly in here. That does not look like it's level. But I don't have a setup yet to know for sure, so we're just gonna go with this as it is. I had a great day writing, like I said earlier. It wasn't really so much writing as reading, taking notes, making some changes as I went. But we'll get back into it. I'll talk to you more about Agnes Box as we go. Today there are a couple of uh, just housekeeping things to do. Pillows not included. This is probably one of the most commented things on all of my videos right now, which is that the walls are still Blank. I'll fix that. Hold on. I, oh no, I can't. I can't fix it. The art's downstairs. We can do this. Wait. We'll put the sea of the unknown up 
that, that, that'll work for now. I used to have art on my walls from my books. We're gonna get to it. So I wanna to talk to you about that today. One of the, I don't really know how to talk about this still entirely, but another consistent thing that's come up besides art on the walls, which will happen, uh, is people wanting to help the chateau along. And hopefully we're gonna be done next month. Mid to late next month, the chateau should be fully chateaued. The couch was a huge first step. The bed and the desk and storage are coming next. That's all covered uh, between me and my landlady. And then I've got some more stuff I would like to get. I've had a hard time creating a list or anything online to make it easy for people who wanted to pitch in. But basically I figured we need to define what is the end. Like if I'm gonna pop that bottle, that I can grab. If I'm gonna pop this bottle of rosé bubbly, uh, which it says room to chateau on here, what is the defined end for this? Because ultimately for me, the chateau was just to make this place comfortable. It's not a comfortable room. This chair, I hate this chair. Wildly uncomfortable. And actually I didn't even include a chair on the list. So that's not a good thing, but we'll, we'll, we'll get to the chair. I, I would like to get a real chair. That said, the idea was to pop this once the room was livable in a way that I would actually want to be here, you know, for more than just to sleep. And so what does that look like? I tried to define that today. The idea was basically to make this comfortable. If I've got my couch, my bed, storage, a desk, a chair, what else do I need? Throw rug has come up from a number of you already. Yes, absolutely, it'll help with the acoustics in here, but it'll also keep my toesies warm when, uh, when I'm sitting on the couch, because this is a very cold floor. A little bit of artwork, and specifically, I want to buy one of my sister's paintings. My sister makes some really, really cool paintings, and I want to get one that she's gonna make custom for the room here, so that's that. To put that right behind me is my goal, and then we'll probably put up some of my old artwork that uh, my landlady originally bought. We'll see how it all works out together. A Google Home, because I would like to have some better like music in here, but also, I want to Google Homeify my world a little bit with like the Wi-Fi light and all of that. Lighting as well because it's going to get kind of dark under here. So a little bit of lighting, both for mood lighting, uh, but also for filming like this, be very important. And then a TV, partially because I would like to actually encourage myself to watch a movie from time to time and just relax, but also partially because I want to start streaming uh, gaming later and give you an opportunity to hang out while I play games. If you're interested in that, if you're not interested in that, don't worry about it. I'm trying to get a mattress still too, but we'll see how that works. Some more decorations, some fun things. There are a lot of little things that I'm sure I would like to get once we get settled. It's just kind of hard for my imagination to work there right now. So these are just the goals I'm going to be working towards. And uh, whenever, however long it takes me is how long it's going to take to open this 2018 gold bottle of Room de Chateau. Muscador. I have no idea if this is even gonna be any good, but we won't know until the room is finished. Okay, so I had a little bit more detail in here, but I'm not feeling 100% comfortable with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move along. That at least gives us, you know, to a defined spot, like a defined finished end of what the chateau is gonna look like. I have I have a lot of, like I said, little things I'd like to do, little touches. I kinda wanna have like a little hydroponic herb garden back here. You know, my own parsley and onions and stuff. Sounds like it'd be kinda fun. Some coriander would be amazing. What's coriander in English again? I always forget what coriander in English is. Cilantro. I only ever get one of the two options. It never works out very well. But anyways, there are a lot of little things that I wanna add in here. I have some ideas. Wireless charging station for my phone, you know, just random stuff. But I want to have an, like an actual end goal in mind. And those are the biggest things that I think will really pull the place together. So obviously having sheets for the beds, some extra blankets and pillows and stuff lying around just to keep it cozy, especially as it gets cold and colder outside. <laughs> those are all important things. So yeah, also Pushan was just here. I didn't film while he was here at all, which I probably should have, but uh, we opened up the red. It's very tasty. Highly recommended. I would go for it. I hope you enjoyed today's nonsense. I spent most of my time and energy today on writing, obviously, a little bit on Norwegian as well. And uh, well, tomorrow I'm gonna be spending it on working with Richard again. We're gonna sit down and brainstorm some more. So hopefully it all goes smoothly and I'll see you bright and early for, you know, whatever happens tomorrow outside of sitting in a room, staring at a piece of paper, trying to keep my brain from melting. See you tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh,